Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about transferases. If you want to skip to any section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. Please also make sure to subscribe to our channel. This helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Transferases are a very specific type or class of enzymes. You know that this is a type of enzyme because it ends with is, that is transferase. Transferases catalyze the transfer of a functional group from one molecule to another. Examples of such functional groups include amines, carboxyls, carbonyls, methyls, acyls, glycosyls, and phosphorils. These are just a few and there are many more. It also doesn't have to be a specific type of functional group. It could be any molecule, as you'll see in one of the examples later in the video. The molecule that is giving up the functional group is called the donor, and the molecule that is taking on the functional group is called the acceptor. Let's look at some examples to learn more about transferases. Take aminotransferase as an example. In protein metabolism, an aminotransferase can convert aspartate and alpha-ketoglutarate to glutamate and oxaloacetate by moving the amino group from aspartate to alpha-ketoglutarate. Another example would be coenzyme A transferase. This is also called CoA transferase. They catalyze the transfer of a coenzyme A group from an acyl-CoA donor to a carboxylic acid acceptor. In this specific example, a CoA transferase transfers the CoA group from acetyl-CoA to butyrate to create acetate and butyryl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA is a molecule that participates in many biochemical reactions. They are included in protein metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, and lipid metabolism. CoA transferase enzymes are found in all three domains of life, that is bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Transferases are also utilized during protein translation. Take peptidyl transferase as an example. Peptidyl transferase is an enzyme that catalyzes the addition of an amino acid residue in order to grow the polypeptide chain in protein synthesis. It is located in the large ribosomal subunit where it can catalyze the peptide bond formation. So you'd start with a ribosome. It has three sites, the E site, P site, and A site. The mRNA to be translated would attach itself to the ribosome. The attached mRNA would get read and tRNAs would bring appropriate amino acids to the ribosome to the appropriate site. The peptidyl transferase enzyme removes the growing amino acid chain from the tRNA molecule in the A site of the ribosome and adds it to the amino acid attached to the tRNA in the P site. In this case, the growing amino acid chain is the functional group transferred by the peptidyl transferase. Most transferases will be straightforwardly named. This was evident from all of the examples that we saw today. However, there are some exceptions. The best example of one of these exceptions is kinase. Kinases are transferases as well. They catalyze the transfer of a phosphate group generally from an ATP to another molecule. So a kinase would remove a phosphate group from ATP, converting the ATP to ADP, and transfer the removed phosphate group to a substrate, creating a phosphorylated version of the substrate. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please comment them down below and if you want us to cover a very specific topic you can include that in the comment section as well see you in the next video bye